Hey, what's up my friends? Nick Arapkalis here and welcome to today's video. If you're new around here, make sure and subscribe to the channel as well as, well as hit that bell notification so you'll be updated whenever we come out with fresh new content about entrepreneurship, how to make money online, and all that, guy, all that good stuff, okay? So on this video, we're gonna talk about Higher Status by Jason Capital, a little bit of a book review, and uh, what I really got out of this, some key points, um, and just some things that might help you out uh, some takeaways that I got away from this book because I just finished it again. I've read this book numerous times, but I figured that I'd make a review. And it's not the typical way that most people make reviews just because they like hype it up just so that they can get an affiliate commission off it. That's not necessarily the case with me. I don't have a link to this book anywhere on this video or in the description. I simply just want to give my unbiased review as well as um, after reading this book intensely this time, you can see I have a lot of underlines and notes and stuff like that. Um, one of the last chapters mentioned that one of the best ways that you can learn this stuff even more is actually go out there and teach it. So that's what I want to do here. So a <laughs> little selfish, but I also want to get some valuable information out to you guys, my loyal subscribers, and help you guys out. Because I think this is an amazing book and I think it can really help you if you take this type of stuff seriously. So let's talk about just like the overview of this book in general. So what, it, what exactly is higher status if you don't really know what it's about, all about? Now, uh, I think there's a lot of different terminology for this, but basically, in my opinion, it's the sub-communications that you're conveying whenever you're communicating with people, okay? There's, there's so much communication that goes on amongst people, and only, I think it's like 8% of that is actual verbal communication. Uh, everything else has to do with your body language, your voice tonality, your inflection, your eye contact, your walk, your movements, your everything. Okay, so that's the type of stuff you should focus on. So when you can focus on that type of stuff and really master the sub communications within your life, you're, everything's just gonna get a lot better. I mean, you know, the money you make, the relationships you build, the health that you build, the, the, you know, the relationships that you build. So if you can get a handle on this, life is definitely gonna improve. Okay, let's just put it that way. So it, it definitely has helped me, so that's why I wanna get it out to you. So I'm gonna kinda of run through the chapters a little bit and then I wanna share again with you uh, the key components that I got out of a lot of the things, okay? So um, let's just go through the content real quick. Uh, chapter one is becoming higher status. Uh, chapter two is high status destiny. Three is high status body language. Four is high status voice. Five is high status eye contact. Six is high status walk. Seven is high status state control. Eight is high status carefreeness. Nine is high status truth. 10 is high status rapport control. 11 is high status charisma. 12 is high status style. And 13 is high status environment. Okay, so let's get into it. So on the first chapter, he talks about becoming high status, why you wanna become high status. And I think I pretty much illustrated that just now because it's all your subcommunications and life certainly just gets better when you're able to communicate at a higher level and people will perceive you as a, a stronger individual, a more successful individual. And when people see you as that, they're gonna respond differently, treat you better, and it's just gonna be a much easier way of life. Um, because us as the human species, we make these snap judgments. Okay. We have these what's called mental heuristics and when people start, well, basically what it is like people make judgments right away. It's, you know, judging the book by the cover type of thing. You know, people always say don't judge a book by a cover, but the reality is that as a human species, that's exactly what we do on a daily basis. And you don't typically get a second chance at a first impression. Okay. So that's, that's like the big reason that you want to become high status. Like I mentioned now, high status destiny, it's talking about how you really want to have a vision and a purpose in life. If you have that, that's what's really gonna fuel you in life. So um, I think that's just a, a great principle. I think you should definitely go a little bit more into, um, you should read a little bit more into the, that chapter if you'd like to learn more information about that. But um, let's go to the next one, high status body language. I really like this one. Uh, it really has helped me in a lot of my communications with people. This, a couple of the big things that I got out of that how to have better body language is just be more open and more relaxed and fluid and not so like stiff and tensed up and jittery with your movements because if you are then you kind of look like a nervous wreck but if you um if you're like slow and controlled you're open you're grounded 
and you're sitting back, you just look more relaxed, you come off as easier, cool, and all that kind of stuff. So definitely that those are a few good points that you might want to take into consideration. Uh, four, the high status voice. I think this is one of the most profound things that I learned from this book. You'll, and you can, you, can, uh, you can see this firsthand. If you go back to some of my earlier videos on this channel or any one of my other channels, you'll notice that I talk a bit different. And I, I'm still trying to improve on this every single day but I used to be a lot more high pitched. <laughs> I talked a lot faster like this. And it, it's kind of weird looking back on the videos before, but now I just, I feel like I have a deeper booming voice. I articulate a little bit better. I'm always trying to get better on articulating because I think that's one of the areas that I'm always trying to improve on. Uh, when sometimes people will like kind of ask what I said before and I, I hate hearing that, but I'm always trying to work on it. And just, they say, I think it is a crazy stat where like, the people that have a more high status voice have like, they make like $70,000 more per year just because people perceive someone that has a high status voice as a, a person of authority, a person that is successful. And you know, they treat, you, you get treated better when, you, when you're perceived that way. Okay, so that's, I think that's one of the best things I got out of this, out of this video, or out of this book, okay. High status eye contact. I like this one a lot. It gave me two things to really focus on. They call it the 80-60 principle. So when you're talking with some, somebody, you wanna have eye contact with them for 80% of the time. And then when they're talking to you, you wanna have eye contact with them 60% of the time. That's one of the big nuggets that I got out of that. High status walk. This is, a, this is very similar to body language in my opinion, um, but it's basically just moving body language. So it's the same type of things, more open, more grounded, more fluid, easier going, not shaking around, jittery, and just having that purpose within your walk as well. Not just kind of mindlessly wandering and floating around, but just have purpose, have vision, know where you're going. I know that can, like, you're not always, sometimes you're just on a walk and that's a little, that's a little over the top when you're like, hey, have a vision where you're going when you're just taking a walk, but just have direction and, and people, again, will respond to you better, okay? State control, I love this one because I heard a quote a while back where it was like, 10% of life is what happens to you and 90% of life is how you deal with it. So that really goes into report, or excuse me, state control. You always have control over your state, over your emotions. Even if stuff happens, that you don't want and, and just bad stuff happens to you. I mean, it happens to everybody. Life is not always perfect, but it's how you respond to that. And there's a few different techniques in this book that teach you how to improve your state um, by like moving around more, just being more active because mo emotion follows motion. That's uh, Tony Robbins always talks about that. But if you can just get your body in a resourceful state, your mind's gonna follow the body. Okay, so just jump around, yell, bark if you have to. Like that's something that he talks about. Um, but it really does get you in a better state. I mean, you can see me right there when I got a little bit more animated and yelled, um, I just kind of had a smile on my face. So it really does help. And if you can just consistently do more stuff like that, it's going to put you in what he calls, um, what is it, your default setting. And the more that you can you know, train that default setting to be in like a positive, aggressive state, the better you're going to be at handling stuff that's um, not ideal. Okay, so you'll be better at state control. So the next one is carefreeness. Now this, I love this one and I'm always trying to improve on it. I don't think I'm the best at it. So I'm always trying to improve on, on carefreeness, but um, it's kind of a combination of really like not caring, but also just being not, <laughs> not completely just disregarding the world. Okay, um, basically the best way I can explain it is someone like Hank Moody from Californication, just kind of, you know, doesn't give a damn, just easy going. People like Dan Belzerian, I think I've talked about him on this channel a little bit, but you know, typically people that just go with the flow, they focus on what they can control, okay? Only focusing on what they control, never focusing on the outcome. That's really, I'd say that's more of the definition I should backtrack there, is just focusing on what you can focus on. Focus on what you can control. And if you do that consistently, then the results will take care of themselves. Don't get wrapped up in, oh, I'm not making enough money. I'm not having the relationships that I want. I'm not, you know, I don't have the body that I want. If I just focus on the process and the stuff that I can control, then the results are gonna follow. And if you just come from that mindset, then you're gonna be, you're gonna be good on the carefreeness section. 
High status truth. I really like this. I mean, obviously I like all these chapters. I think they're all really good. But truth is really important. And, and living in this state where you're always giving truth. Okay, I think in this society that we're living in, there's a lot of people that just say stuff because it's what other people want to hear or it's politically correct instead of just saying exactly what's on your mind. Because what I've, what I've started to understand in my life is that when you actually give truth and you're honest and blunt with people, it might sting to some people and it, it might hurt their feelings a little bit, but if you come from a place, if you come with a good heart and from a good place and you and you're wanted to help them as best they can, then that's when things really, you're saving time. You're like, you're not wasting people's time telling them just what they think they want to hear. So like, if like, I think the example that he gave in here was like one of his friends, this girl was clearly not into him and all of his other friends were saying, dude, yeah, just keep on pursuing her. She, she'll like you eventually. But then Jason talks about how he's like, dude, like this chick doesn't like you and there's no reason. It's crazy that she doesn't like you, but you know, move on, get, get past that. Like it's, it's not a big deal. So when he gave that high, that truth to him, like it say, it could have saved him six months to a year of, of him still pursuing this girl, wasting his time if he didn't give him that truth. So it's very important to always give truth in your life. And, um, yeah, I think that that's just a, a great, a great chapter. Uh, rapport control. This is one's a really good too. It's all about connecting with people. So, um, rapport control. Basically, what rapport is is a relationship of responsiveness. So, when you just have a more of a connection with people, and obviously life is all about connecting with people. So, if you can, you know, connect with people better, it, this that's definitely going to help you. And he has a couple of different exercises in in this book that really help out. Little, a few little tactics that start helping you, but. Um, one was just to give you a quick one was aims, ambitions, and joy. So if you can talk about those three things to someone, aims, like what are their goals? What are they going after in life? Ambitions, same type of thing. Aims, ambitions are kind of one and the same. Um, and goals, aims, ambitions, oh, excuse me, aims, ambitions, and joy. So what are they like? And if you can talk about those type of stuff instead of the weather, instead of like pop culture and all that kind of stuff, you're going to separate yourself and you're going to have a deeper connection with the people that you're talking with. Okay. Uh, charisma. And the, the biggest thing that I got out of charisma, this, uh, the chapter of charisma is all about having good energy. That's really what charisma comes down to is having good energy and, and pushing forward in your life. Because you'll notice like the people that are, are the most charismatic people like Will Smith, they just have like really good energy. And that's really what it comes down to. I think that's just the best way to explain charisma is energy. And then a uh, high status environment. This is so clutch and so key. Um, you're never going to, you're never going to consistently outperform your environment. That's what I always say. So always get in the environments that is helping you. One of the stories they talks about in this book is this book, this, uh, story about a bucket of crabs and, uh, this guy, he was down in like Mexico and this guy was, his fisherman was throwing, or he was fishing and there's, he had a bucket of crabs right next to him. And one of the crabs was climbing out of the bucket. And he's like, hey, man, you should probably watch your, your crab. It's about to get out of there. He's like, no, no, don't worry. Watch. And then all of a sudden, all the other crabs pulled it down. And that was a perfect metaphor. If you stick around too many crabs, people that are pulling you down, you're going to stay in that bucket. But if you get around, you know, eagles or, or whatever, however you want to uh, put the metaphor, uh, it, they're going to start raising you up. And you're just going to consistently perform to... The, the average of the most people you hang out hang around with you they, they say it's like you're the average of the five people you hang around with so if you hang around with successful people you're going to be more successful if you're hanging around with broke people you're going to be more broke so always try to get environments go to events go to masterminds go to workshops get coaching anything that can really elevate you get around the right types of people and that's really it guys so um yeah i know i that was this is been a decently long video, but I really wanted to share this with you because again, I think this is valuable information. So go get your copy. Um, I believe it's, I don't know what the website is, but I think he gives us away, like it's a free plus shipping offer. So basically you just have to pay for shipping or pay for hosting on the audiobook, and then, um, and then you can get it. And then he, I think, I believe last time I checked when I got this, he had a couple upsells where it was like, um, after you purchase the book, then he's like, okay, if you want to have our um, video course and some other things and different things. And then you'll get on his email list and he emails a lot. He emails pretty much every day uh, about new things. He's got a lot of products. He's got, he, he does a lot of events. So, 
Um, if you're wanting to learn more from him, definitely check him out. I've been following him for years now, and I've definitely benefited from learning from you know soaking in all of his information. So, thank you for watching this video, guys. I appreciate your time. Hopefully, this brought you some value and and help you understand some new concepts. So, because this is a little off topic of this channel, but I think it's definitely. Uh, important to really master everything that has to do with success so that you can be a more successful person. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Subscribe to this channel if you have not already yet. And then all the links are down in the video description if you want to connect with me on my social media platforms or anything like that. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Appreciate your time and we'll talk to you soon.